Florian Montano was born to play Victor Drago, Ivan Drago's son. He was born in Germany to Romanian parents in 1990. His father was a boxer, so he got Florian into the sport at a young age. Florian really took to the sport and grew into a talented professional heavyweight boxer. In the ring, he went by the nickname given to him by his friends when he was a kid, Big Nasty. And by the end of his boxing career, he had a record of 68 wins and 10 losses with six draws. With a great record like that, we know this physique isn't just for show. Because of his six foot four stats, and ripped body, Florian caught the attention of the fitness and film industries and dipped his toe into fitness modeling and acting. He made his silver screen debut in a German short film called Dogat, where he played a character named Razan. So to sum him up, before Creed 2, Florian was a giant European heavyweight boxer with a ripped physique and a starting acting career. And in the mid 2010s, it just so happens that the producers of Creed 2 were searching for someone to fill the role of Victor Drago and they needed a jacked European heavyweight boxer with acting chops for the role of Ivan Drago. Drago's son. Sure to sound like someone we know, hey? By the way, if you want me to do a full video covering Dolph Lundgren's training for Rocky IV, comment I must break you down below so I know you're interested. So when Sylvester Stallone discovered Florian through online training videos, he personally recommended him for the part right away and Florian got it, landing a huge role in his first ever big American Hollywood movie. But there was one little problem, or maybe we should say a big problem. At the time of casting, Florian weighed a huge 250 pounds, so he was way bigger than the star of the movie, Michael B. Jordan, who at the same time weighed somewhere around 180 pounds. So a casual 70 pound difference. So to make the fight as realistic as possible, Florian was gonna have to cut a ton of weight. So what did Florian do to cut 30 pounds off of his frame? What did his workouts look like for Creed 2? And what was his diet like at this time? Well, I'm Pierce Demers, a full-time personal trainer and online coach, and I'll be answering all those questions. Plus I'll be giving you a full workout program based off of Florian's training for Creed 2 at the end of the video. Remember to like and subscribe if you like the videos because it really helps me grow and continue putting out more content. I'd like to take a second to thank the sponsor of today's video, SuperX. They make the world's best heroic workout apparel with hundreds of thousands of customers across the globe. They have designs based off all your favorite heroes so you can suit up and crush your workout in style. Their products are insanely high quality with super stretch fabric so you can move around and work out uninhibited. And to make sure that you're looking your best, their super suits are designed to hug your muscles and enhance the look of your physique. And if you weren't already sold, use my promo code DEMERS at checkout for 20% off your first order. It's a great way to support the channel while getting some world class workout gear. Now back to the video. So Florian had to cut from 250 all the way down to 220. As we know, this kind of weight loss is primarily achieved through diet. So what did his look like? Well, Florian had this to say about his Creed 2 diet in a GQ interview. It was pretty monotone. I'm not the guy who loves cooking that much. I try to keep it as simple as possible. Chicken, rice, and vegetables all day, all night. I mix it up with some tomatoes and avocados, maybe some hummus. If I had a good day and I thought I was losing a lot of body fat, breakfast was cornflakes. I tried to have at least something. It's not really a cheat meal, but you eat some sugar in the morning and it can give you a lot of energy. I like milk. I like drinking milk. In another interview, he said he tries to keep his protein intake at one gram per pound of body weight, which is a classic protein ratio for those trying to lose fat and build muscle. So for the most part, he stuck to basic healthy whole foods. But the ones stand out are those cornflakes with milk. While starting the day with a high carb meal like cornflakes with milk might not sound like the best idea while you're cutting, you can actually make a compelling argument for including it in a cut. Florian said eating something sugary in the morning gives you energy. And while this is literally scientifically true, I would disagree with what I think he actually Actually meant. Eating sugar in the morning will spike your insulin, which can lead to that sleepy post-meal feeling that you might be used to getting after you eat lunch at work. So that's a point against sugary cereal in the morning, but what would be a reason for including it? Well, like I said, while sugar might not give you an energy boost in the classic sense, it will supply your muscles with the fuel that they need to perform. Glycogen is essentially glucose, aka sugar, that we store in our muscles and liver. We use this glycogen to fuel the muscular contractions that power our workouts in the gym. So a well-timed 200 to 300 calorie bowl of cornflakes right before a morning workout will give you that extra boost of fuel you need to crush your workout, especially when you might be feeling low energy from the calorie deficit you've been running to lose weight. Doing this could be categorized under carb cycling, where one eats a higher amount of carbs on workout days around their training to make sure that they have the necessary fuel to perform at their best. Anyway, that's enough cereal talk. Let's talk about pizza. Florian loves pizza. So much so that he ended up getting a lifetime supply of it back in Romania thanks to Creed 2. Here's how Florian told the story. The story with the lifetime supply is very easy. Romania is a very supportive country, so once I got the role and was done shooting, my country went crazy. 
This was only one of the crazy things that happened. Usually I'm the guy who goes to Pizza Hut. So they called my manager and said, hey, your guy, he's eating at Pizza Hut all the time. My manager said, if you want him to come to Domino's, you know, do something about it. So when they told me Domino's wanted to give me a lifetime supply, I was like, hell yeah, let's do it. If I'm in Romania, Domino's Pizza is my best friend and it will stay that way forever. So long story short, if he ever needs to bulk up, all he needs to do is fly back to Romania and crush some free Domino's. Sounds pretty nice. That covers the diet. Now let's get to his very unique way of working out. Some of what he does I love and some I really dislike. Let's start with the good. Florian likes to keep things simple. When asked about his training style, he had this to say, I personally like the old school style of training. And you actually see that in the movie. We train the Russian style, old school, not modern. Not trying to make things easier. Just go through the pain the old fashioned way. Then he went on to say, definitely give me a bench press and a heavy bag and I would go for a treadmill. That's all I need. I love that he keeps things simple and likes to stick to the basics. You don't need anything fancy to get super ripped. A bench, some adjustable dumbbells, a treadmill and a good diet will get you a really long way. So for Creed 2, Florian did five in the gym workouts per week, plus three to four cardio sessions. These cardio sessions were a combination of HIIT workouts, swimming, treadmill running, and sprint training, plus his fight choreography for the movie. Florian said that he needed to train five to six hours a day because of how much he needed to shrink down for the role. While this is an insane amount of training to do every day, he was a competing heavyweight boxer, so he's probably already used to training at really high volumes. In terms of his weight training in the gym, he kept things simple and efficient, hitting big compound movements like back squats, trap bar deadlifts, pull-ups, bench press, and heavy farmer's carries. I absolutely love this. These kind of movements give you huge bang for your buck and are really all you need to build a powerful, aesthetic physique. So now for what I don't like. Florian said in an interview with GQ, when he's actively on his workout routine, he trains abs four times a day, with one of these workouts taking place at the beginning of his normal training session, and it lasts for 40 to 45 minutes. This just seems like a huge waste of time. Your muscles can only recover from a certain amount of volume each week and each day. Typically, if you do more than six sets a day and 20-ish sets a week of a certain muscle group, you're going to start getting huge diminishing returns. So if we estimate Florian is doing at least eight sets in each one of these ab workouts, that's 224 sets of abs a week week. That's a lot of wasted volume. But hey, maybe the guy just really likes getting an ab pump. Who's to say? So here's the program I designed based off of Florian's training for Creed 2 minus the four ab workouts a day. It's a four day week training program with a mix of functional strength training and high intensity cardio to get you jacked and moving like an athlete. Now go check out my video on Michael B. Jordan's training for the original Creed movie and see how he got into such amazing shape. See you there.